YouTube crew, what is going on? And welcome back to another video. Now, people come to me all the time and they ask me, Joe, how do I start to play with more confidence on Rebirth? So today, I'm gonna give you a few tips on how you can start to play more confident while really showing you where a lot of my confidence actually comes from by breaking down a 26 kill duo trio win that I had the other day on stream. Let's go ahead and drop in here. Now, I've got two main tips for you when it comes to playing more confident. But to start off, I wanna give you a quick bonus tip on playing confident during early game. And that is to land in the same spot as much as possible. I want you to know this area better than enemies. Know where guns spawn in, know where the loot crates are, know where enemies land. When I land control, I know that people are going to be landing on top roof, and a lot of times I use that to my advantage. Now, let's talk about the two main tips that I have for you, which are information and execution. And when we start off with information, I want to start by talking about audio cues and minimap. I know audio is tough right now, but we still want to be using them using it to our advantage as much as possible. The other one is our minimap. I think a lot of you miss information on your minimap, whether it's weapon pings like that, where I know there's a guy above me, whether it is getting a kill and understanding where that person's teammates are. A lot of you are not using your minimap to gain information. Now, the second component of this is going to be execution like I did right there. We've got to be able to hit shots. We've got to use basic oh, movement. Nothing fancy, strafing, slide canceling, a little bit of jumping, using basic movement to our advantage. We want to be anticipating enemies based on the information that we have. And last up, we would just want to be playing smart. We don't want to be pushing fights that aren't winnable, you know, teams that are four stacked in a building. So when it comes down to how to start playing more confident, a lot of it is just executing on the information that I have. And we're going to see that throughout this gameplay. I hear the guy chasing me. I hit fire a little bit. I take a little bit of damage, but I'm still in a very good spot here. I'm going to go ahead and play it up. And I just executed on that information. Now, the reason that I don't highlight other pieces of information just yet is because I get 12 kills during control or in control during early game before I get loadout. So we'll get into other sources of information in a minute, but I really want to focus on using my audio cues and using minimap during this early game here. So I'm going to go ahead and keep pushing here. I know, I know there's people across the street. Preds goes down out front. I'm able to get the down. I'm able to get the thirst. Two pieces of information. One above me kind of flying in and one across the street. So I'm going to go ahead and keep pushing here. We got five kills. We got 11 other teams. I'm trying to see what I can find. And let's talk about confidence in this situation right here. Confidence in this engagement I'm about to get in comes from hitting shots and my positioning. Right? Confidence to challenge this is my positioning because I have good cover. And if I need to, if I get smoked right here, I can drop back down into control. Now I hit my shots there. I get the down. I get the thirst. There's going to be another guy challenging here. Another guy challenges. Same thing. I'm in a really good position. Now I have the advantage. So I'm going to go ahead and re-challenge. Now let's get this thirst and no Notice the mini map. Two below me, one below me kind of towards skinny, one below me on kind of the side I'm on. So I'm gonna use that to my advantage. I'm gonna push across here. Preds is able to get a kill. Preds goes down here, right? So Preds gets down. I see this guy pushing in. I'm gonna go and act upon that piece of information that I just saw him quickly. I'm not gonna give him too much time to get away or anything. I'm gonna quickly act on that information. Now I have one above me. We've got eight kills. We've got 10 other teams still up. And I hear somebody above me. So I'm clear in this, right? Notice the anticipation, my centering of crosshairs. And sometimes we do get a little bit lucky like this situation right here. That guy didn't have any plates. You know, there are certain situations where I don't have a lot of confidence and I'm lacking a little bit. By the way, look at two below me, right? One below me skinny side pushing up, one below me on this side. So I'm going to pull back, plate up, and now I'm ready to get back in the fight. I'm going to reload real quick. I've got plates. So my confidence comes from, okay, I know they're over here. And now I'm going to go back in. So I'm going to get one kill. We get the down. Preds goes down from behind near kind of the hallway. I didn't take any damage. I still have plenty of bullets in the mag. So my confidence comes from I'm going to challenge this. I'm in a good spot to challenge. We get the down. I still have the bazooka from the beginning somehow. But I'm rocking with the well gun. We got 10 kills. We got nine other teams still. And now eight other teams still up. We got one flying in above. Oh my gosh, man. So we're, we're still going to pick up two more kills here. And you see how I'm gathering information and then simply just acting upon that information. Now, we still have two crucial pieces of information that we need to talk about. But while we're rotating over here, and we're going to end up getting a kill here in a second. And then I want to talk about... We're going to get a kill in Skinny. But the last thing that I want to talk about is this isn't big map like Caldera. Where if you die... Notice the information here, and then I'll circle back to that thought. Information on my level, kind of right in this hallway. So while I'm chasing this guy, I'm going to end up getting the kill here. It's not like Big Map Caldera, where if you die, you lose Goosh, and now you're sitting around waiting for 10 minutes until your teammates buy you back, if not longer, and the regain process is awful. Like, we respawn back in. I always say we want to learn from how we die. So if you die, just use it as a learning scenario and learn from your mistakes. We don't have to be scared of dying because we do respawn back in. 
Now, the next piece of information that we want to talk about is UAVs. I'm going to get a UAV up, and now I'm just going to start acting upon that information. By the way, the fourth piece of information is going to be a heartbeat sensor. I personally run heartbeat over stims simply because I think the information component is so important. I think it's the number one tip for rebirth is getting information, and then we start executing upon it. So four pieces of information are going to be audio, minimap after a kill, or weapon pings, heartbeat, and UAVs. Now, as I turn this corner, notice the anticipation and centering. I'm going to hit all my shots. Again, hit my shots. I'm using basic movement. Nothing fancy. I was simply strafing there. And now I have two above me. Now, these guys actually drop down. So I saw the guy in that little doorway. There's two guys to my right. And the moment I see they're fighting, I'm out. I'm out. I don't need to rechallenge that. I'm going to pull back here. I got a bunch of people all around me. So I'm going to go ahead and pull back here. Preds is going to go down. But this is where I talk about using my heartbeat sensor. You're going to see it in a second. I'm going to check heartbeat. See where he is? 14.5. So now I know that he's there. But I actually hear one to my left. So I'm actually going to pull back here. I'm able to pull back. Played up. And I know that, keep in mind, there's a bunch of people back there. Right? I know there's a bunch of people over on that other side. So now I'm played it up. I'm going to rechallenge this. Like, I'm ready to get back. Now I reloaded. So now I'm fully ready to get back in this fight. So my confidence comes from, okay, I have information that there's people over here. Let's go execute upon it. I'm able to tag that guy a little bit. I love Combat Scout, by the way. This is why, why I run Combat Scout. That guy can't rechallenge. Now I get one on my level and one above me. So I'm going to go ahead and peek this side, see what I can find. I don't see anything. But I know there's two back there somewhere. I don't see anything. Let's keep pushing here. We got 14. And by the way, this is a great example right here of how to execute upon this information. No information, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and keep pushing up here. I hear him. Not totally sure where he is. I'm trying to clear. This is where audio can be a little bit tough sometimes. This is why I say UAVs and heartbeat sensors are so important because we all know that audio is struggle struggling right now. But it is nice to hear that they're going to fix it. They've addressed that it's an issue, and they are going to be fixing it sometime soon. Now, this guy shoots below me, so I'm going to go ahead and clear that side. Now, I hear it footsteps behind me, so he's running. So, he shoots. He's on my level. I'm going to go ahead and challenge this side. I anticipate him to challenge on this side, but he doesn't. So, now I turn this corner. Notice the centering. I'm ready for this guy. And as soon as I get this thirst, I want to pause. Information. My eyes go straight to this minimap. This is where I talk about a lot of you would miss this and probably die here. There's one on my level over here. There's one right around the corner for me. So I'm going to turn and actually pre-fire this corner. And I'm able to get that clean down and thirst because I know he's right there. Now we talk about a little bit of lack of confidence here, right? Like I don't anticipate this guy challenging me, but I'm able to hit shots. So that's a little bit of execution right there where I don't necessarily have information, but I'm still able to execute. Now, as we're kind of rotating over here, buying a UAV, if you are looking to get better rebirth, I took my KD from a 0.72 over a 4 KD. So I really know what it actually takes to get better. My whole goal is to help you become a better rebirth player so if you are looking to get better just consider hitting that subscribe button down below so my content gets pushed to you a little bit more and i post videos every single day i live stream on youtube four days a week so if you want to know when i post and when i'm going live make sure you turn on that notification bell as well now let's talk about where my confidence comes from i've got a bunch of teams over here right a little bit overwhelming but notice that a lot of people are below me and I have a lot of cover. Now, the first thing that I see is Tower Guy. Tower Guy's kind of isolated. The other one that I notice is this guy over by this crate over here. Hindsight being 2020. Those are the two that I notice. So I'm going to go ahead and challenge this guy right here. Combat Scout to my advantage. This is going to take a while to actually get this down. But no, watch the minimap pings, right? Like, ne there's never a time where somebody is pushing me and I can't get this kill. So it takes a little bit of time. But they're kind of rotating over towards me, but they're not really in stairwell yet. So I'm going to keep using this to get the kill to get that next piece of information, which is, okay, they are over there. Now, I do end up calling a UAV. Let's talk about this situation right here. I'm going to challenge out this window here, and I'm pretty exposed. I'm pretty exposed. By the way, I completely missed this guy right here. I was, I was a little bit hyper-focused on this buy station, but in this situation with my positioning... Like, I'm able to get back inside. I have a lot of cover. So this one's a little bit different in that my, my confidence in this situation, especially re-peaking this, right? I always say to not re-peak the same spot. But I have a really good position here, and I have a lot of cover. So I'm going to challenge this guy that's across. Let's go ahead and push down below. They're all the way down. So this is a little bit of an execution situation where I get shot over this way. And I re-challenge this. He ends up in here. So now I have a huge advantage. And this is where I use movement to my advantage to really execute, right? I know there's two people over here. And I'm just going to use my movement. Slide canceling. 
being unpredictable, a little bit of hip fire and hitting shots to get two downs right there. It's pretty easy to get the other one over here. We're going to end up getting this teeth wipe. So that's where we really start to see that information and execution work together. Oh Once I gosh, get that information, then I need to execute upon it and really put myself in a good spot. Now, Preds is going to go down here. I'm going to shoot. So I gave away my positioning. I'm going to go ahead and reposition a little bit higher. And this is a situation, again, where I talk about information right there's one across over near grandma's house so i gotta keep that person in mind now again this is execution but i also have confidence that i'm in an okay spot if i get torched even if this guy snipes me right even if this guy snipes me i can probably crawl back inside or even if i fall down i'm probably in a good spot to self-revive so a lot of that confidence also comes from okay positioning self-revives like those types of things that say i'm not going to die in this situation even if i challenge and i have cover to be okay and not get thirsted now i'm going to push over this way i noticed that there's basically two over here the next guy grabs the atv he rot rotates all the way back and i'm able to get this thirst right here so we got 22 now in this moment right here pay attention i don't have information i don't really have any information to my advantage so there is a little bit of a lack of confidence here there's a little bit of a lack of, okay, I don't really know where anybody is. Look at circle. Circle pulls that way. Now I hear people shooting. I hear people. There's one below on the minimap. There's people shooting above. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this. I hear footsteps above me. So as I turn this corner, and I hear shooting now, notice the minimap. I highlight this for a specific reason. Notice the minimap. One shooting above me. And I'm going to highlight this because as I turn this corner... I'm going to get this down. I'm going to get this thirst. But there's still that person on the minimap that was above me. So I'm immediately going to execute upon this information. Hit all of my shots. And now I'm able to get that easy down and thirst. And by the way, again, another situation right here where I had a lot of cover. So even if I get smoked from that guy, I'm able to self-revive. Now I have two below me. I've got 24 kills. Two other teams still alive. Pred's going to take care of one or two right here. Now I hear a bunch of people below me. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. Now, two pieces of information there. The first was I knew there was a team below me based on the minimap pings. And the second is now I hear them. I want to highlight this, by the way. Watch. There's two people right here, right? So there's one right here and one in the back. If you just try to shoot this first guy, the second guy is going to torch you. And you're going to end up going down. Watch my strafing here. Watch how I use basic movement and strafing to strafe behind this wall to get cover. So I'm... Taking myself away from the angle of that second guy, I'm able to get that down. Now, I repeat this. That's just kind of a confident situation of I'm going to hit shots and, you know, I've got 25. I'm feeling really good. Oh I know the last gosh, one's over yeah. this way. Preds is going to get this wipe here in a second, which makes this the last guy. I don't understand. 35.4. I didn't need to check heartbeat. I knew exactly where he was. One other guy left. So there you really see how I use information execution. Of course, a little bonus tip in terms of the fact that we respond to play more confident. And I'm just executing upon the information that I have. I hope you found today's video helpful. As I always say, let's get better today. And I will see you tomorrow.